All right, so we should be all good to go now. I could redo my Creeper Crunch review. I'm probably going to upload that previous video because I need to upload so many videos so often. Anyway, it's time to play some one-shot. Hopefully this time it works and um, it doesn't start me off in like the weird world. The weird world. The wacky world. Oh, it tells me the controls. Okay, so that must mean that it worked. Everything is a going according to plan. Okay. Excellent. Time to play one shot and ref Anyway, yeah, Creeper Crunch is okay. I mean, it's cinnamony. Uh, it's, it's all right. Hmm. Yeah. I really like one shot, it's a great game. I already played the entire thing, so the entire, like, idea, like, the entire appeal of just part of the let's play is just gone. Sorry about that, but it's the best I can do. I wanted to let's play the game, what can I say? And, you know, I can't... 7293... No, oh, man. What was it? This part of the game is kind of tough. Uh, okay. Yellow 7, red 2, green 9, blue 3. Yellow 7, green... <laughs> Yellow 7, red 2, green 9, blue 3. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, great. It's one shot. Ooh, pop up. No, that's not a real pop-up. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. <laughs> the computer starts telling you to touch grass. That's when you know it's serious. Hmm. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot. Eli. That's my name. Oh my god, how does it know what my name is? That's so sad. Okay. Hello? Anyone? That sounds like Steven from Steven Universe's dad. I can't do the voice. Bottle of alcohol. Finally. Okay. TV's broke. I actually know exactly what to do here. Because, you know, I like these, uh, intuitive puzzles. It's great. I was thinking about making, like, a Roblox-style game in this style. Kind of like, um, what do you call it? Get a snack at 4 a.m. I already made an entire video Let's Play of that. Hmm. Yep. There we go. Something glimmers on the floor in the dim light. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. Oh. I love the transitions. And how the music becomes more ominous. Is Creeper Crunch the kind of cereal where... You leave it in too long, and it becomes bad quickly, like, for example, um, uh, for mini-wheats. Mini-wheats go bad if you leave them in there for, like, ten minutes. I'd say this cereal definitely does go bad quickly. I mean, all the cinnamon starts to fall off. 
into the milk, right? And, um, yeah, I mean, all the cereal, <laughs> it just doesn't taste as cinnamony. I'm used to just eating, like, um, what do you call it? Regular old, um, uh, like regular, typical, I don't know, cereal. What is it called? Yeah, just Cheerios. I'm re I'm used to eating that. Even like without the honey nut part of it. Oh, add infinitum. Nico just woke up here. All right, cool. Okay, light bulb time. It's so weird. Like, like it, it looks, it looks strange. Hmm. What is that question mark about? Oh yeah, I love these um cinematic um oh shoot oh my god i've been ruining all of the gameplay with my mouse i had to keep my mouse off of here all right cool so yep it's um this is definitely one shot i'd i'd say one shot's kind of like mist. Sometimes you just wander around and you don't know what you're doing. Ah, that light bulb, you are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. Beep boop. I am most humbled by your presence, yes. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. All right, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You'll be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um, I will now provide you with vital information. <laughs> Please ask me anything. Ah, well, can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. This world is divided into three regions. on the fringe right now the barons a tower you see in the distance once held our sun oh so that's what that tall thing was as you go further towards the center you will cross up the other regions there should still be a map there should be a map still in this outpost somewhere ooh can you tell me about the light bulb I found it in the house I woke up in Within your hands is our new sun. Sun? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. Hmm. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah. 
But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. Sun shatters. The world will end in an instant. Oh, can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. Hmm. If I had to guess, it might be trying to pass a message to Eli. Eli? Ah, that would be our god. If you are here, that means Eli is here also. Eli will provide guidance to your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone though. Have you not contacted Eli yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Eli, an ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Hello, Eli, are you there? Why can't it would be funny if you could just say no? That is not my name. What is your name? Dilagord. It's Dilagord. It's Eli, but I'm going to use Dilagord instead. Nice to meet you, Dilagord. My name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Dilagord, though. This is incredible. Seems the recorded name was incorrect. Updating database. Hmm? Update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Dilagord for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about going home? Oh. I don't mean to rude, but I, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. This is my mission is to tell you about our world. I'm unable to help you beyond my programming, I am sorry. Oh. Um. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Don't oh, turn it on. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Battery. crazy how effectively they're able to nail like the visual style right because like um <laughs> i am not going to put the sun here yeah just destroy the sun go ahead you can't you can't do that um, I originally thought like you'd be able to like fall off like you have one shot and you could just like fall off the ledge Yeah, I thought this game was like a lot more crazy than it actually was when I first played it for the first time I thought you'd be able to like run and then accidentally trip and fall and die I thought there were like a million ways you'd be able to like mess up and just screw up and you know
Even though, in actuality, there's not a lot you can do to, like, really mess up. I think it would have been really cool if, like, they made it so that way you, like, really could. I mean, the, the greatest, the most you can mess up is, like, accidentally... Oh, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. I think, I think the most that, like... The most that there is, is, like, you cannot get, like, part of a good ending. Um... A robot, no power, just like the rest. Bunch of black clovers right there. Tons and tons of them. Everywhere. Here's a cave. The entrance is roped off and there's a sign here. Warning, authorized personnel only. Visitors must see the head engineer from permission to enter the mines. I guess we should find the head engineer. Yes, okay. We could go up this way into this house. Here's the head engineer, I assume. Yeah, definitely, yeah. No, I, I'm kidding. I actually already know. I'm just I'm just doing a little bit of a... Uh, sort of... Oh, you are the messiah. That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller, or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Uh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat, but cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. That robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. It's going to sound cold, but I honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. It's a matter of decay. It's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. We can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm supposed to light put the light bulb uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Hmm. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh. Don't take my word for it, though. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard. But maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. Yeah, at least let me know you got my message, okay? Yep. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. Or at least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? You never told me if it went anywhere item. Something is poking out from this shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. <laughs> yes, I have many. It's funny how, like, mundane some of these items are. Like, you just got, like, a screwdriver, an empty bottle, a light bulb, compared to, like, this crazy wild fantasy world. It's a funny contrast, just like how, um, kind of Nico's eyes and the light bulb especially have great contrast in this area, the area, I mean, they have good contrast everywhere because they're yellow on, like, on, like, all different other colors that aren't yellow. Um... Yeah. Okay, I do believe that the other stuff for this area might be just up here. Uh, 
yeah, the other stuff that I need to get is probably up this way. If I remember correctly. So, up here. Okay, so up here and then... Hmm. In here? Yeah, in here. It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of these terminals. Anyway, I'm going to end the Let's Play episode right now. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes.